Hello everybody, welcome to Late Night Football, welcome to our match reaction show. It's finished, Manchester City 3, Wolves nil. And uh, I mean, I have, I have a bone to pick with Wolves on this game because whenever I watch Wolves play against Manchester uh, United, whenever I watch Man United, they always look like prime, you know, Barcelona, like prime Juventus in that kind of defensive resolve. It looks so good. Um, you know, uh, in defense looks so good. Like they, they always get problems for United, and then they play against Liverpool. They play against Arsenal. They play against Manchester City, and they just don't look that same team. Just look like a, a, like today they look like what they are, which is a relegation threatened team, and that's that's what they look like against these teams. And yet against United, they look so good. So I don't know what it is about United that brings the best out of Wolves. I don't know what it is, but and, and what it is about the other teams that seems to bring out the worst in them. But today, um, Wolves were the architect of their own demise. I think that that you can say that for all three goals. Um, it was a, especially the, the the two goals in the second half. I mean, it was really really sloppy, and you could see what Lopetegui was trying to do. I think the, the game plan was quite simple. He was gonna try and keep it tight, nil nil, one nil at most in the 60th, 17th minute, and then bring on Pudens maybe when the teams are a bit tired and try and go for a win or at least try and go for a draw. That was the plan game plan, and you could see that even in the sub 30 minutes at the start of the second half, it was like okay, we're one nil down. And then really we want to try and work our way back into, into the game. That, that, that was the idea. Um, and with the first goal, Haaland, I mean, that's such a trademark Haaland goal, isn't it? Mahrez to De Bruyne, De Bruyne crosses in Haaland's goals. I mean, that's just, it, it's just so routine. I'll talk about Haaland in a bit. Um, and then that second goal. Now, the second goal, what's important enough, from my point of view, that is the softest of softest of softest of soft penalties that Manchester City will ever, ever get. And, and the, the thing is, and I don't want to go into conspiracy theories here, but we never saw a good angle. At least on my feed, in my uh, channel, the one that I was watching on, I didn't see a good a good replay that really convinced me that it was a penalty. It always looked like Gundogan, Gundogan was trying to get the penalty and he threw himself to the ground. Uh, it was a delayed reaction. This is, again, my opinion. So feel free to put in the comment section, was it a penalty or not? I, I think it was a soft, as I said, it was a really, 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 really soft penalty. And so, again, we go back to last weekend where uh, obviously the City goal was... Um, was the United goal, that offside goal that they got, which was not a goal. So now Karma has played itself out. United got a penalty disallowed uh, against uh, Crystal Palace, which should have been a penalty. And now uh, Manchester City have got the benefit as well with, with a very, 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 very soft penalty um, that obviously changed the game because at 2-0, you kind of just knew City were going to win because there was no way Wolves, Wolves might have maybe got a goal in there. But the fact is that team just doesn't, doesn't know how to score a goal. The Wolves just don't know how to score goals at this, at this moment in time. So 1-0, maybe they might have got a lucky goal 2-0. There was no way they were going to score two goals at the end. Yeah. So 2-0, game over. And then... <sighs> But then, yeah, let me know if, if you if you thought that was a penalty. To me, it didn't look like a penalty. The VR check was really, really quick for some reason. And uh, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know what to make of that. But anyway, I thought, I, for my opinion, I think that is a repayment for the decision that was made against Sydney over the weekend. As I said, these things have even themselves out. I always say this, over the course of a season, these kind of decisions, you always find that they even themselves out. I think, and this was, I think, the sort of makeup one. For City from, from last weekend. So, anyway, um, Trina, that third goal again, Jose Sa, I don't know what he's trying to do. It's such a sloppy pass. He just passes it straight to Mahrez. Mahrez says, okay, thank you very much. Passes it to Haaland. Haaland says, thank you very much. And it's a tap in goal. And it's 3 0. And it's game over. The game is done. Then, 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 like it was just, you know, what do you call game management mode, cruise mode. There was a few flashes of goals, um, you know, attempts and efforts to try and make something happen. Maybe if they had a good striker, maybe if they had a better, you know, more um, uh, productive winger, they might have been able to make more of it. But that team just, you know, you never, at no point did you feel like Wolves were going to score a goal in the game. We just never felt like it. Man, uh, you know, and, and that's the problem for Wolves. And that's why they are where they are in their relegation battle, because they just don't know how to score goals. Um, you know, before they used to also struggle to score goals, but they always had a good defense. So they could always get away with the one nails and two ones. Now they're not even able to keep the clean sheets, not able to keep that defense tight. So they're starting on the other end as well. Um, and that is what it is. 3-0. Um, Swastika concern. Haaland, again, now there's been a lot of talk about Erling Haaland. There's been a lot of talk about whether Erling, where Erling Haaland fits in the Manchester City scheme of things. Has he made the team worse? Has he made the team better? Has he, you know, has he really made an impact? Forget all of that. The fact is the numbers are where they are. 25 Premier League goals. We're only about halfway through at the moment. Um, you know, he's got over 30 goals already this season. He's probably going to score 40. I, I mean, at the rate he's going, I think he's going to score 40 Premier League goals this season. I, I think he's going to do that. That's my opinion. And the reality is the defences aren't really helping themselves by giving away sloppy goals like that. But the fact is that that's what he's there to do. He's just there to score goals. He, he's not there. Uh, and again, you know, if you're expecting, if, if Pep Guardiola is smart, he will not try to convert Haaland into one of his pressing players and all of that. If he tries to do that, you lose the essence of what Erling Haaland is. Erling Haaland at his score, at his essence, is a goal scorer. That's all he is. 
That's all he's ever going to be. He's only ever going to be a goal scorer. And that's not, and I don't mean that as an insult. I mean that as a compliment. That that's what he is. He's going to get you goals. He's going to get you goals. He's going to get you lots of goals. That is what he's going to do. And that's all he needs to be thinking about. That's all he needs to be worrying about. He should not be thinking about, I need to, I, know, I need to be here at this moment in time and I need to press here and I need to do that. Don't. Just, just let him be. That's why I mean, I just let him be, let him score goals. That's what he's there. But anyway, I mean, again, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe City feel like that. The thing is, some people might say, well, it might affect them in the big games. The reality is, that's what Haaland is going to do. Even if Haaland lets a goal, uh, you know, because of the defensive sloppiness, maybe, I don't think that'll ever happen. But even if that is the case, he's still going to get you two or three goals probably in that game as well. So uh, at the end of the day, I, I think that's, that's why Haaland was bought because to make that give you that edge in games which are tight, in games which which matter, um, the City always seem to bottle it up, and they, that that's what he's there to do. That that's really what his goal is. So you try to make sure that he's going to get your goals and not worry too much about anything else. But anyway, I what do I know? I'm not Pep Guardiola. I'm, I'm I haven't won uh, Premier League and Champions League. So anyway, but um, not really a lot to talk about. I was I was more disappointed from Wolves in this game to be honest, and I was impressed with City. I don't see I don't think City nest, I think City were good. But not necessarily to the level that you go, my God, 3-0, that's a fantastic performance. No, I, I really thought it was Wolves with architects of their own demise. With some, I mean, even that second goal, the pass from Ruben Neves is absolutely unnecessary, the kind of thing that he's trying. And Ruben Neves has that in his game, the sloppiness of like always giving the ball away. That's one of the reasons why they never every every summer he gets linked with the, with clubs and he never leaves because the price tag that the Wolves have put on him is unrealistic. He's not worth that amount of money. Uh, and that's and that's the reality. So even though he's a good player, he's not that in that caliber of player. And I think that's because he has these kind of sloppy moments in this game. But he'll give the ball away or do something stupid. Um, and that's what happened there as well. Uh, that that pass against Sophie. So for me, um, that that's what it was. The rule, I think Wolves really really played into City's hands with some of the decision making and some of the work that they did. But um, at the end of the day, three points is what matters. And now you know, from a week ago, we all talked about City's demise. Everybody was talking about. I know how the title race, uh, you know, might be over prematurely. And some people are like, oh, sit titles and they're now just two points of Arsenal. Um, so, by, like I said, uh, like I've been saying, that one individual results don't mean much. Like, you know, it's just three points. You can always you can always make that up and you just never know how things are going to go, particularly when we're not even 20 games in yet. Um, you know, you can't really make those kind of judgments. But, you know, that's the world we live in. Anyway, let me know in the comments. What did you think about City's performance? What do you think about the game? What do you think about Erling Haaland? How many goals do you think he's going to score this season? I think he's going to break the 40-goal barrier. For, uh, in, the, in the league, at least, he's going to go past 40 goals. Um, I mean, overall, I think he might get close to 50. But uh, he's definitely going to get 40 Premier League goals this season, I feel. If he keeps on this track. Um, I think I, not if he gets, he, he, I think he will break it. I think he will definitely be 40. Maybe I mean conservative. Some people might even be 50. But anyway, 40 for sure. <laughs> Let me know what you think, of course. Uh, and do remember to smash like if you enjoyed this video. Do subscribe to our channel. Of course, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. We're everywhere. <laughs> Wherever you can find us. Uh, and uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. We've got a big game coming up. So yeah, we're going to be back again really, really soon. Take care. Bye. Stay tuned.